And so our ugly question is, is it normal? <laughs> is inflation running rampant or is it normal to, to see a $800 increase in a refrigerator in just one year? <laughs> well, we were talking about that a little bit earlier. Um, no, it's not normal. And yes, inflation is, uh, again, we don't know if it's going to be temporary or if it's going to be long term. Yeah. I, I know there's inflation because of uh, supply chain issues, but there's also inflation caused by too many dollars chasing too few products. And if we have, and it depends on government on what they're going to do. I will tell you this, uh, the Fed has decided to start uh, tapering their purchasing of treasury uh, U.S. Treasury. Yes. Which is going to do uh, a couple of things. One of them is going to raise rates mm -hmm. because you're actually going to be able to sell bonds at a normal market price instead of having uh, a giant government. Wouldn't it be interesting if it just... didn't raise rates? Wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. I, mm. I don't think that's going to happen, mm. but it'll be more of a market value. Um, Jonathan and I were just talking about this uh, yesterday. There are banks now selling the risk of their short-term uh, loan. So when a regular mortgage company makes a loan, the way they operate their business is the bank will give them a, a line of credit that lasts for typically 90 days. It's a revolving line of credit. So when they make a batch of Fannie Freddie loans, mm -hmm. they have 90 days to sell it to somebody else or to Fannie Freddie. Yeah. And if that loan defaults uh, in that 90 days, then, you know, the bank's kind of holding the, uh, actually it's the mortgage company kind of holding it. They have to buy it back. <laughs> Correct. They do have to buy it back. But at some point, if the mortgage company uh, can't pay it, then the bank is, is on the hook for it. So they're selling the, the risk. To people the default are, risk. The default risk yeah. to people that are chasing yield, and you're. you're I love. Paying. I love that you use the word chase, like the phrase chasing yield. Well, they tell, are because tell tell what they're paying. Um, they're they're paying. They're they're getting five percent. Whoa, they are chasing a <laughs> big whale, a well of a, a well of a yield there. Now think about this though: the risk to a defaulting Fannie Mae loan. Remember, Jonathan was just. Uh, talking about how hard, how much harder it is to get a Fannie Mae loan. Uh, the credit scores are higher, the debt to income ratios are much lower. So it's harder and harder to qualify for one of these loans. The chances that you're going to default in the first 90 days are minuscule. You would think so. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, but uh, there, there was a, a bank out of Texas, I believe it was, they sold $275 million dollars worth of these um, default risks and you know they're getting paid uh, a five percent return for this so i get it i get uh, it again we were yeah. we were joking that even junk bonds now are returning you know four and five percent in the yield <laughs> that's true when, when it used to back in the day you know you were getting a way in double digits on junk bonds because yeah. again there's a reason they call it junk <laughs> so, They're so. really good.